Hey, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Drone Tech here. I have one for you today that is just completely insane and unfortunately is probably just going to make you feel more gaslit than ever. Um, it comes from Axios, which has always been known as a leftist sort of news outlet, which is really just Democrat Party propaganda as far as we all know it. And if you go to their Twitter channel here, you're going to see that they describe themselves as newsworthy of your time designed for focus. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not at all what Axios is, and I'm going to prove it to you here. Of course, they're just one leftist news outlet. There's many of them, and they're all kind of doing something similar, but Axios really stepped in it today and a few days ago, which I'm going to remind you of here real quickly. But first, Chuck Norris. Have you ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? I definitely have. He's one of my all time favorites. Well, yesterday I saw a video that he recently made and I was shocked. He's in his 80s and yet he's still kicking butt, staying active and working out. Honestly, it just makes me feel really bad about my own health. What's even more shocking to me is that in this video, he's talking about how he's stronger, he's working out longer and he has all this extra energy for his grandkids. As a stay at home dad with four kids, this is something I need in my life. He did this by making one change and he says that he feels like he's in his 50s. His wife started of doing the same thing and she says she's never felt better she says she feels 10 years younger her body looks leaner and she has energy all day again i need this chuck made a special video that explains everything so make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com forward slash drone or by clicking the link below in this video i promise it will change the way you think about your health once again that's chuckdefense.com forward slash drone you can find the link in the description or pinned comment you're not going to believe how simple this is. Just a reminder, the legendary Chuck Norris is 80 years old and has way more energy than I do. He discovered that he could create dramatic changes in his health by simply focusing on three things that sabotage our bodies as we age. Watch this method by clicking on the link in the description or pinned comment. Thanks a lot. You'll remember just a couple weeks ago that people were bringing up the fact that she's the border czar and yet the border's worse than ever. So why is she jumping into the race, right? Because she's to blame for the problems and she was in charge of it. So how could that then translate to running for president? You know, you can't really make that argument that, oh, if I get elected, I'm going to fix this problem when you were in charge of it in the first place. And so Axios put out an article like many other outlets also did gaslighting this country to save democracy, I guess saying the Trump campaign and Republicans have tagged Harris repeatedly with the border czar title, which she never actually had, <laughs> which is news to most of us, right? Because we've, we all remember them all saying that she was the border czar. She was, you know, this, this was all part of addressing the crisis that was at the border at the time. Well, thankfully community notes on X, which we have thanks to the fact that Elon bought it. You know, if he hadn't bought it, we'd never even know about this. Well, you know about it from places like this, but not directly from the source. And here it says Axios itself referred to Harris as the Biden's border czar in 2021. And here we have three different articles where they did that. Harris to visit Mexico and Guatemala to address root causes of border crossings. Okay. Yeah. That, I mean, sounds like borders are to me. How about all of you? Let me know in the comments. So if you go into all these three articles, you'll see Axios refers to her as the borders are all, all three of them. And yet now they're accusing Trump and Republicans of being the ones who uh, tag Harris repeatedly with this title incorrectly. You know, they they're the ones who did it. But this is all part of this sort of Orwellian propaganda. This country is being put through right now by people who probably think that they're justified in doing so. Well, Kamala Harris clearly has lots of baggage that the media and Democrat Party have to cover for. And as they've shown, they have no problem lying to our faces while we know they're lying. And so now you see Axios again employing this tactic, uh, saying, don't call it price controls. It's like when the economy and inflation was at its worst and people were saying that we are in a recession. You saw the media do the same thing, trying to redefine what a recession was. And so now there we have Axio saying, don't call it price controls, how price gouging bans really work. And look, we don't even know what price gouging is, okay? Price gouging for all intents and purposes is a conspiracy theory. And so that's essentially what that is, but it's different when they do it. So if you scroll down here just a little bit, you'll see that community notes got them again. 
Amazingly, I love it. <laughs> it's so great. I just, I can't get over the fact that we would not have this if not for Elon Musk. And look, I'm not saying be some Elon Musk fanboy butt buddy, all right? But Elon Musk does great things, all right, already. He's already driving humanity into space with these amazing rockets, and he's got electric cars and the Cybertruck, which are just kind of cool side quests. But then also he got X and he took away their propaganda and election manipulation tool, and I just love it. So uh, Community Note says the same author called it price controls when the UK proposed voluntarily voluntary caps on grocery store profits. So the exact same guy who wrote this article now saying that it's not really price controls said it was when the UK did it. And Axios itself called it price controls when it was proposed to limit how Russia could profit off oil in time of crisis. So there we have two examples of axios just blatantly lying i mean they, they have no shame whatsoever and we've seen the quotes there's a quote out there about you know they're lying we know they're lying they know we know they're lying and all that and from a i believe a guy who was in the gulags and they're doing that now it's it's like these people they say history rhymes it's these is the exact same people and i think what happens it's what we always talk about it's different when we do it and they carve out exceptions to their own rules it's just that same mindset always leads to the same thing. So what do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you still have some time, hit that like button, subscribe. And when you're all done with YouTube, head on over to X and check out my page. I post on a way more frequent basis on X only because it's just easier for me and quicker. Obviously, when I do videos here, they take a lot more time. So if you want to just see my regular day to day videos, I post a lot of news clips. Go and check me out there. And if you'd like to support this channel, like I said, the best way to do it is to support our sponsors. Hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment thanks a lot and i'll see you all in the next one.